Hello, investors. I hope all of you had a great investing day today and a great day on the market. Today, I had a 3.8% gain in my personal portfolios. Another gain, another day in a row, so that's really great. Year to date, I passed the 200% mark, which is over three times my money, which was my goal at the beginning of the year. I am at 205.38% year to date. That is pretty fantastic, and I hope that continues, and we'll just keep working at it and keep going. Today in my day trading, I, mean, I use less than 10% of my Catalyst portfolio, 2.7% gain. Okay, I had a pretty good trade there towards the end of the day that really helped. Of the different stocks I was day trading, mostly it was iBio today. So I had a couple sales. One was PRSP, I sold it for even, just didn't make any money on it. It just wasn't responding to the insider activity, even though I thought it was very, very bullish. And since it just didn't respond, I felt it was time to get out. That happens sometimes. I'll take it. It's not a loss. And then today, because it was over five days old since it's insider activity, I did decide to sell VOXX. That was a really nice gain. That was a great pick. 23% gain on that. So that is pretty great. I also want to say thank you. We passed 2,000 subscribers, which I think is pretty fantastic. Thank you to all you that subscribe out there. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I want to talk about the different brokerage houses and what times they open and close and why I think that it's so important. So first thing, we have Weeble, and these are all in Eastern time. Webull opens at 4 a.m. for trading and closes at 8 p.m. at 9. That is really the best that you can hope to get. TD Ameritrade is 7 a.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Very good. Schwab is 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. E-Trade, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Fidelity, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then you have Robinhood that is 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. So the reason why it's so important and the reason why I recommend Webull is that if you can trade at four o'clock in the morning Eastern time, you can really take advantage if you know that the market's going to be way down. So if you need to get out of stocks and you need to sell stocks, that is a great time to do it before anyone else can. And so that's one thing that I really like about Webull and one of the reasons why I trade on it. The other thing is you can do, and this is something I like to do very much, is really take advantage of FOMO of all those other brokerage houses coming on the market. So. If I have money open to buy in pre-market and I'm looking to day trade or take advantage or get into a stock really, really early in the morning, a lot of times there is a great jump right at 7 a.m. Eastern. And the reason being is because all those people who have available money, they're excited to buy. And so they got the stock that's been on their radar and now it's time to get into it and they want to get into it before it rushes up. So you could really take advantage of that fear of missing out and really get in there. And so that's one of the reasons why I recommend Webull. I do also use Schwab and Schwab is a very powerful broker. And what I love about it is that you just always seem to get the best price when you're buying and when you're selling. So once Schwab is open, a lot of my day trading will go to Schwab. And the reason being is because if I go to sell and get out of something, they fill orders better than anyone else I've ever seen. Now, I've had a lot of these brokers before in the past. I had Fidelity. I thought they were very good. I had E-Trade way, way back when. I really didn't like E-Trade. It was okay. I would definitely say it was okay. I even had a little bit of Robinhood. I got some free stocks, Robinhood. I had Robinhood for a while. And yeah, anyway, there's that. I feel like the very best two, and for different reasons, are Schwab and Weeble. That's just what I like. TD Ameritrade is also extremely good, and I've never had them as a broker, but I use their tools a lot. I love Thinkorswim, and I use that every single day. So anyway, just something to think about, you know, the different brokerage houses when you're thinking of where to put your money, reasons why you would put your money in a certain area. I love the pre-market, after-market you get out of Weeble, and if you are looking for free stocks, and you're looking to join a powerful broker, please check out the description down below. We have a link for Webull where you get a free stock when you sign up, and then you get another free stock for depositing money. So that's definitely worth checking out. If you are looking for help in any way, or if you're an investor who's been investing a while and just hasn't made money, or you're just looking for a new strategy or to be part of a great group, check out our Patreon group that's down below. It's a great group of people that encourage one another, and there are beginners to very advanced people that are on it. And you'll definitely learn how to follow insiders. We talk FDA run-ups, so all the stocks that are on this list get shared first 
on the Patreon group because I can update all the time where this video just comes out once. That's a great group to be a part of and a lot of these picks that are on here, the Patreon users have had for a little while and already made money on it. Something to think about. Okay, so this is the top seven plus one and it's plus one because I have this stock, B-A-T-R-A. So B-A-T-R-A had insider activity three different times, all in open market by the same person. I felt was very bullish, but this stock it hasn't really reacted yet, but I think it's just about to break out. At least that's my hope. And the insider activity was very strong on it. So that's plus one. Number seven is NTWK. So NTWK probably doesn't deserve to be number seven on this list, but the thing is they've had insider activity over the last two days. So today there was more insider activity by the CEO. And yesterday there was insider activity by the CEO. Buying an open market and very, very bullish activity. Definitely, if this continues, I would really expect this stock to really, really climb. It already has a little bit, but it's got so much more to go. So you're well within time. You can definitely get in this one and make quite a bit of money because there's got to be a reason for that insider activity that's happening multiple days. Number six is LPCN. So LPCN has an upcoming PDUFA date of August 28th. So that is a little bit of a ways off, but I think that they have an important drug. They have a testosterone treatment that's coming out for men. There's a lot of men that really need that. And so I think it's very marketable. And with that PDUFA date, of course, we're hoping for FDA approval. And if we get that, I think the stock will go soaring for sure. Number five is TTOO. I love this stock. Uh, I've had it for a while and still holding it. They're shipping tests and we have not gotten any kind of reports of what sales have been like on that. Tests are really important. They also have a sepsis test that we're waiting for. And we're also kind of waiting for FDA approval and we've got an FDA emergency use authorization, but FDA approval, I think that's something that would take that stock way up and also price targets being raised up around the $4 a share price targets, and it's definitely good. There's lots of good things going with TTOO, so that's number five. Number four, and this has been a rock star for us since we added to the list, and that's BCLI. And two different officers bought in open market $670,000 worth of their own money multiple days. And so I feel very strong about this, that this one still has a lot more to go. A lot of analyst price targets at $20 a share. I think it could hit $20 a share. It could hit $20 a share tomorrow. There's lots of great catalysts coming up for this company, and so it's very, very good. All right, number three is GES. Guess. This is a brand new one to the list, and the CEO purchased over $1 million worth of shares in open market. This was reported yesterday. This was really late yesterday, and I had already made my video, but I was able to share this, and the Patreon people were able to take advantage of this today. But... The whole thing about it is there's still so much more to run. So GES has a lot more to go. If you're getting in late, there's no problem. You can definitely pick some up probably tomorrow morning right after market open. And I think it would still be a great investment for you. There's still a long ways. All right, number two. Number two is TRVN. So it moved from number one to number two. But they have an upcoming PDUFA date of August 7th. There are lots of reasons to be very excited about this stock. And it has definitely been running for me and doing a great job. And then also, I think that now that we're over $2 a share, it can really, really pick up speed from here. So this is a great stock and I think it'll hopefully get approved and it's gonna be a good one. Number one, number one is a brand new insider to the list and that is AVCT. There was an insider by Kent Matthew, I think is his name. Anyway, 183,600 in open market. It's an open market trade. And we jumped on this right away with the Patreon group and it is really climbing. There's still so much more for it to go. I think that this one can really shoot up and it's not even close to where it's gonna be. So you still have quite a bit of upside to get in on this guy. I do a lot of work for this list. So if you could do me a huge favor and just hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. And then also if you could share it with your friends, I'd really appreciate that. If you're seeing this middle-aged guy and you're like, who is this guy talking about stocks, but you've never seen me before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you can get my reasoning behind any of the picks. I think you'd be pretty surprised to how consistent we can be. I want you to know that I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching each and every day. And Raytoven out.